Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the basic physics in GameX Studio. So to start off with, we'll create a new project. So just go to the new tab, set what you want to save it, and then just name the project. Um, you can really call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine physics. Actually, no, I'll just call it FHYS. Still stands for physics. Basically, the same thing. Once you got that done, hit create. Okay. Now this is actually a remake of uh, the original two tutorials I had up before because they were done in Notepad. I figured I should probably redo them just with the microphone to make things you know easier. Because no pet tutorials aren't all that great. Okay, so we're gonna just start off by creating the sprites. So we'll start off with the wall. So just call it SPR wall and make it 32 by 32 and just color it black. Okay, then we're gonna make a box. Call it SPR box. 32 by 32 again, and I'm just going to color that brown. Doesn't really matter what color you make these. Uh, then we'll make a circle. So it's called SPR circle, and make that 32 by 32 as well. And there you go. Okay, now we've got a wall, a box, and a circle. Okay, now we're going to start off by creating two objects. So these are going to work as parent objects, and um, basically we're just using them for collisions. Okay, so we're going to call one OBJ static. And then parent, so that we know what type of object they are. Um, tick that off, and then create another one. And call that one OBJ. Uh, fi totally forgotten what the word is. Ah, yes. Um, call it OBJ dynamic parent. Yep, just like that. Okay, now once you've got once you've got that done, you should have a static parent and a dynamic parent. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and make our actual physics objects. Actually, before we do that, let's set up the collisions right now. Okay, so open up your dynamic parent and add a collision event with the static parent. Then go over to the control tab and add in a bit of code and then just put in a comment and just say collision for collisions in physics uh, in the game like physics system all you have to have is something in the um in the collision event as long as there's a collision event with something in it all it really has to be is a comment, then it will collide. Uh, like, if there's nothing in it, GameMaker automatically gets rid of the collision event, so you have to have something there. But yeah, now we can just duplicate that and collide it with the dynamic parent. So it'll be able to hit other objects of that sort. Alright, now you can tick that off, and now we'll create the, um, go ahead and create the actual objects. Okay, we're going to start off with the wall, so just hit new object, and then just call it OBJ wall, and give it the sprite. Okay, now for setting up physics, first thing you want to do is parent this object with the parent object that like it accords to. So 
this no, it's a wall we don't we're not going to want it to move so we're just going to parent that with the static parent so the parents also like sort the objects and they supply the collisions okay so once you've got that parent with the static um, parent then you can tick this little box here that says users physics and it brings up all this extra stuff here now um, down here you've got basic properties density is like weight restitution is how much it bounces collision group you can have different co collision groups like one won't collide with another but um, generally you're advised to leave that alone um, line ear dampening that's when it's flying through the air it um, slows down slowly as if it had air resistance and angular dampening is the rotation so it's like friction but that's in midair so like as it's flying through the air it'll start to slow down the rotation as well and then you've got actual friction um, that friction is the friction between this object and other ones but we can just leave all that stuff as it is pretty much okay um in the collision shape at the moment it's set to circle if you open that up it's a circle just there and that's not what we want we want it to be a box and there you go Game Maker can generally like do the shapes for you in the right size, but always um, click Modify Collision Shape just to make sure. Okay, um, with the density, you want to set that to zero because we don't want it to be affected by gravity or any of that. Um, restitution to zero, linear dampening to zero, and angular dampening to zero. Um, friction we can leave alone, and that's the wall. It's finished. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and create the box. Just call it OBJ box. Now these are all going to work basically the same, but some of the settings in the user's physics um, options are going to be like different. Okay, so just give this a uh, sprite of the box. Parent this with the dynamic parent this time because it's going to be moving. And tick user's physics. Set the collision shape to box. Make sure it's a box and then you can leave all these settings alone because they're already set up right for a moving object okay then you can just tick that off alright now we're going to create another object for the circle so just click create object call it obj circle give it the sprite tick users physics um, parent it with the dynamic parent now the collision shape for this one, we're going to want it to be a circle. That's already correct. So you can hit OK to that, and that's the circle finish as well. Now we just set up the room and chuck some stuff in it, and it should all be working. Okay, so create a room. Just make that a bit bigger. And then just start adding in your objects. So we'll start off by creating like a floor. So just like that. Um, chuck in a few boxes just around the place so we can get the basic simulation and put in some circles. Just randomly, it doesn't really matter where you put them. Just gonna lower my grid size to 16. And all right, now we're ready to run it. So just hit the little green arrow, wait for it to load. It normally takes longer to load the first time you run it, so the second few times are normally faster. I'll just pause this and then bring it back when it's done. Okay. Alright, notice how they're not moving? That's because we forgot to do something. Well, I forgot to do something, not necessarily you. And that's my bad. Alright, so we're going to X that away. And up here in the room um, tabs, there is one called Physics. Click that, and there's a little checkbox, and beside it says Room is Physics World. we have got to tick that. Now it'll work. If you don't tick that, it's not going to work. Um, unless you set it up in the code itself but to keep it simple we're not going to be doing that okay there we go there's the physics all set up
Now there's one more shape type that you can set them to, and that's um, like a polygon. In the actual object settings, it just says shape though. So what we're going to do to demonstrate this is we're going to make a triangle. So create a new sprite, call it SBR triangle, and then just make a triangle. I'm leaving it at 32 by 32 again. So zoom in a bit on that and what we've got to do to draw a triangle is do a diagonal line color, color the one side of it black okay center that and create the object so we just want it called obj triangle alright um... give it the sprite parent it with the dynamic parent and tick uses physics then up here in the collision shape this is where it gets different you want to tick shape modify it and see these points here you can drag them around add in extra ones wherever you want really and um, right click them to get rid of them this is to outline the different sprites or shapes that you might have okay so just outline the triangle and then that's done so you can just put in a few triangles wherever you want and they should collide as they should okay hit run and there you go got triangles, circles and boxes and that's how to set up the basic physics in Game Maker so um, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial um, like this video or subscribe if you want any more tutorials and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.